I went to a beer show today, which is basically a flea market of just beer stuff. From signs to cans to old beer advertising and so much more. While there, I discovered undeniable proof that Miller Lite was not the first low-calorie light beer. There was something earlier. Come with us to check out all the cool brewery collectibles at the third annual Onalaska Winter Beer Show. So if you're ready... Let's go beer collecting! Yeah. How old do you think this is? Pre pro. Pre pro vision, huh? That's pretty neat. Right next to the Spuds McKenzie. Love it. This is pretty neat. Yeah, it's cool. It works. Yeah. It's just the batteries. Super cold this morning on the way here. What um, what year do you think that is? Oh, it's probably from the eighties. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's neat. Cool, though. Very neat. Yeah. I like that. Those are prints of. They made a whole series of them. They're all different. Oh, they're all different. They're yeah. All different. And it's yep. all it's all of the, the stuff from from the the brewery in La Crosse. And yeah, I'm so, surprised you got the ribbon on there. I never, I never seen the ribbon. Oh. Okay. There's eight of them. Yeah. Can I take one? Yeah. Pretty slow. I've got a set of those. And I think I framed them. Yeah, oh, really? Uh, yeah, they're all different. It was kind of a promotional thing. Where sure. You could slide them in. Yeah, that would take it out. Oh yeah. Different. But they're cool. Yep. Those are the blue. Yeah. Cool. Wow, I guess. I got five of them. You 
So what what happens then is it lights up inside and it lights up the glass. Yeah. So what you got here? This is uh, an item I just dug out of my attic. I've uh, had it since I was a kid. Yeah. Um, found it underneath the Foxhead Brewery, right back in the late 70s. Um, and I just found it and I said, hey, let's see if this has any value or if it means anything to anybody. Yeah. Pretty neat. What you got here? It's a, it's a beach mat by Budweiser instead of a towel. It's a yeah. woven plastic beach mat. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. What, what do you got on that? How much? I don't even. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Huh? Thirty bucks. That's a, probably a good price. Yep. It's a sell price. So what? What do you? What do you notice on this one? Uh, Heilemans did a lot of this foil over cardboard stuff for some of their off brands that they had purchased. There's Braumeister, a couple of different variations with the blue can and the red can. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a Kingsbury Zing, non alcoholic, that looks like this mm -hmm. that I've seen. And then uh, the Foxhead bottles, same thing. There's a brand that Heilemans wound up purchasing and I think that one said G. Heilman, Lacrosse, and Sheboygan. It's kind of a cool piece. Miller Lite came out in 1973. But Meisterbrow came out with it much earlier. This is a 1969 ad. Meisterbrow Lite, L-I-T-E, you know it's the spelling. Miller eventually Purchased Meisterbrow, discontinued the Meisterbrow light, came out with Miller Light. The rest is history. So this is kind of a cool history piece here. Before Miller Light, it was Meisterbrow Light. Here's the can guy. You got any good, very unique cans here? You got some great cans. Yeah, some rare um, out-of-state hands over net coat. So, uh, oh, here's a nice chief. Look at that. It's in rough shape, but boy, this chief Oshkosh crown tainer is tough to find. Yeah, that's pretty neat. John Gund, Cross Wisconsin. What'd you pick up? Uh, this is a uh, Pabst cork can, almost totally mint, that I just picked up today here at the show. Wow, that's beautiful. What year do you think that is? Oh, uh, man. This is a early 50s. Okay. Late 40s, early 50s, yeah. I think. I don't quote me on that because I'm not a can guy, but I couldn't pass this up. So Paps never really made a cone top. No, um, this is their only cone top. This right? is their only cone top. They don't call it a cone top, but they call it a snap cap. Yep. And uh, it is yeah. actually officially a cone top because it works with their bottling operation. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. they did not have a normal cone top. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Love it.
This is a 1966 Hams from River Falls. Pretty cool, but this isn't the cool side. Here's the cool side. <laughs> Gerald, Gerald Perry from 3467. Using it for drawing paper. <laughs> Probably was hanging on the fridge at some point. <laughs> My name's Mason Mikulski. Got this here. Just gonna go in our basement. We got a couple uh, genuine draft stuff, so we're just gonna hang up there with that. Yeah. Awesome. What do you think of this show? I like it. Yeah. It's the first one I've been to. So. Yeah. I like it. It's like a flea market, just beer stuff. Yeah, exactly. Hey Dan, what'd you pick up today? Hey, I am excited, Ken. Look what I just picked up. Awesome. <laughs> oh uh, man, am I gonna be supporting big time? Appreciate that support. You bet.